What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm adjusting the camera while we're at it, but um, in this video, I'll be talking about the unlock with Apple Watch. And eh, it's sort of, but not really a vulnerability, just a heads up Screen warning. Dead. Even for re people that are visually impaired or blind, I have low power mode enabled. Rose 12 to 24, 24. Controls uh, let's low power mode. Let's get rid of off. low power mode. And today view, oh, rows 11 to 24, rows 2 to 12 to 24. All right. So if we go back, Jesus. All right, here we are. Unlock with Apple Watch. Use the secure connection to your Apple Watch to unlock iPhone when a mask prevents face in from recognizing your face. Face Apple ID. Must be nearby on your wrist, unlocked and protected by a passcode. Face ID. So you're apparent. Okay, not apparently. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, uh, with the world losing its marbles and the way things are going on, which uh, in the setting that I do throughout my daily life, I do not have to wear a mask. Lucky me, I guess. But certain people do. Now, I want to point this out as a vulnerability. Uh, and I will show you on this video. So, unlock with Apple Watch. Austin's Apple Watch, off. Like, mine's off, but I'll Austin's turn it Apple on. Here. Austin's Apple Watch will unlock iPhone when any mask is detected. Any mask is detected. Face ID can't recognize you with a mask, so iPhone will unlock when any face with a mask is detected while your watch is unlocked in nearby. A hot tip and notification on your watch lets you relock iPhone if you did not intend to unlock. Alright. So. Cancel. Button. That is good. I do like that. However. Watch. Off. It did not enable it, so what Austin's the hell? Apple alert. Austin, face can turn on. Oh, whoops. Turn Idiot on. me. Austin's Apple Watch. All right, so now it's enabled. Apple Watch on. And there you go. It takes a little bit, and then it enables itself. So, there, there that is. FaceTime. I'm recording this at 11 o'clock at night, so bear with me. All right, so we have Face. Now, when I lock this iPhone, it only show, you know, my forehead above the iPad Pro like this. And try again. 2257. Button. Passcode field. Zero of six. Well. Speech off. Here. I'll turn voiceover off. All right, so listen carefully. That noise. Now, yes, you can. And I will show it audio auditorily, which I'll show it on screen while I'm showing this here. Now at that time, it just did it just disappeared on me. I didn't do nothing, didn't touch anything. I'm just scrolling like voiceover to navigate to that lock iPhone button, which is smart. Once you do get to it and lock the iPhone, it does uh, have you ha it have you it has you re-enter the passcode. Which is smart, but now there is one thing that I wish is like this, where if you lock it, and yes, this thing is in sleep mode, wake up. If it is unlocked by the Apple Watch, the watch, Austin's iPhone, heavy. Unlocked, and, 32 seconds. and now it just went away yet again, but where it would ask you, do you want to unlock this iPhone? And you click yes or no to triple layer that prompt and because you could be within range of the iphone a family member could be like oh well they're wearing their apple watch let me do this and i could do this to someone unfortunately put on a bandana or a scarf or a mask or whatever obscure your nose and your and your mouth and your chin and everything else and you know, your cheeks and all that, where a mask would cover or a scarf. You're in the iPhone. You're in that person's iPhone. It doesn't matter. And then you can access whatever. Their Snapchat, their TikTok, their Instagram, their Facebook, their Messenger, their App Store settings. But you can't go into the passcode because guess what? It threw me out. So, or anything, you know. Their widgets, you can check their activity, you can do whatever you want. You can go on their YouTube, you know, the list goes on and on. Or their Twitter, hey, check me out at Austin under, Austin's underscore tech, shameless plug, right here. 
And, you know, you could just go through here and, you know, say, oh, I'm in Austin's tech Twitter. All right. Well, I could close his account. No, don't need that. But you get the gift. And I was live streaming earlier this evening, but no one showed up. We pretend like that didn't happen. All right. So I just wish that Apple would add that feature as a prompt to, you know, ha give you a prompt of yes or no. Because you could be, like I do, laying in bed sleeping and sleep tracking and say a family member comes in or someone is like, oh, well, they're sleeping. Their phone's locked. It is in sleep mode like that. I swipe up and, well, magic. I'm in. I can do whatever I want. I can look at their text. And, well, you can look at their text right here. You know, like, say, for Justin's window. And do whatever they want. They could reply to Justin for giggles like this. And, you know, I get, you know, you get the hint. But I don't want to waste any more, any more of anyone's time. So, I just wish Apple would add that feature. So, this is just a little heads up video. If you plan on... Uh, using the unlock with Apple Watch, use it if you need it desperately. And the only reason why I felt the only reason why I'm making this video is because uh, I was in public and I had it on because I was testing it for the tech channel privately, and uh, I was sitting at a table and a rant. Well, not a random girl, a friend of mine, supposedly we'll call him colleague, uh, walked by and picked something up and unlocked my iPhone. And was able to swipe up and get into my phone. So that's the only reason why I'm making this video. And I hope y'all enjoy this video. And subscribe for the whole coverage of WWDC for iOS 15, iPadOS 15, and supported devices. And I will see y'all in another video. Uh, enjoy the series shortcuts that I got planned. Including accessibility added on top. Anyways, peace.